Hello, my name is Stephen Newton, and I'm one of the lead product managers on the Zoom Whiteboard team. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to create a new whiteboard on a Zoom Room for Touch and save it to your account. Zoom Whiteboard allows you to brainstorm and collaborate on a persistent digital canvas. And on supported Zoom Rooms for Touch, you can create, edit, and save whiteboards and have them saved into your account, either inside or outside of a meeting. So in this example, I've walked into a conference room equipped with a Zoom Room for Touch, and I want to create a new uh, whiteboard. So I click the whiteboard button. I click the new whiteboard. And a new blank canvas is brought up for I can start collaborating and editing with people in the room with me. And because Zoom Rooms include all the features of both basic and whiteboard plus SKU features, I can have access to templates, including organizational templates that might've been included by my organization. For this example, I'm going to choose the brainstorming and ideation category, and I'm gonna create a bullseye. So I click use the template and that will stamp the objects onto the canvas to get us started quickly. I add a few more edits to my new bullseye pattern, and now I'm ready to save. So Zoom whiteboards are saved to user accounts. So what I need to do in this conference room is actually pair with this Zoom room using one of my personal devices, and that could either be my desktop computer or my laptop. So what I do is I click the Save button, and this will give me instructions so I can either scan the QR code with my mobile phone, or I can use the pairing code. So on my personal device, I will click the Pair button, and once I've clicked the Pair button, the user account will be paired, and I can confirm that on the board. So I click, this is the user I want to be able to save it. That user will get an additional confirmation on their desktop. And once that confirmation has been accepted, I get a notification, and the board starts being shared to that account. So now in the future, when I want to open this board, I would just go to that user's, or that user would go to their account, and they would see it in their dashboard. So thank you for watching along. In our next videos, I'm going to show you how to pair and open a whiteboard and how to use a whiteboard in a meeting. Thank you so much.